Did you know that Forest Lawn once had its own Hollywood style sign? The Hollywood sign is one of the most iconic LA landmarks today, but when it was erected in 1923, it was just one of many similar oversized signs. There was a population boom in the early 20th century, and these signs advertised various real estate developments in the Los Angeles area. Just one year after the original Hollywood Land sign went up, Forest Lawn completed its own oversized hillside sign. This billboard advertisement for Forest Lawn shows how the hillside sign appeared from ground level. Soon after, a second sign was erected so that visitors and passersby could identify the property from multiple angles. In the next photo, you can see the two Forest Lawn signs along with a sign for neighboring real estate development, McCalla Heights. By 1930, park administrators were eager to update the sign and decided to replace the original signs with an illuminated neon one. The first known neon sign in America was installed in Los Angeles in 1923 when neon was a relatively new technology. According to reports in the LA Times, people would drive from all over the Southern California region to see the dazzling neon sign. The lights and colors in neon signs were so vivid that some even called it liquid fire. The second Forest Lawn Memorial Park sign was replaced with a new neon one that shone brightly from the aptly named Sentinel Hill. In this picture from 1932, you can see both the neon sign atop Sentinel Hill and one of the original billboard signs located closer to the main entrance of the park. The neon sign was short-lived, however, as an even greater attraction was soon to be installed in the park. In 1937, Forest Lawn founder Dr. Eaton was working to install a new beacon atop Sentinel Hill, a reproduction of Michelangelo's master sculpture of David. This photo shows Dr. Eaton and an associate inspecting the proposed David site with the neon sign in the background. The bright neon sign was a distraction while viewing the 17-foot-tall marble David, so the decision was made to remove the former in order to create the perfect atmosphere for viewing the latter. Despite the sign leaving the hillside, Forest Lawn continued to use neon for smaller roadside billboards throughout the 1940s and 1950s, such as this image of a 1957 billboard with neon detail that advertises the Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills location. Thanks for tuning in to learn about Forest Lawn's connection to the Hollywood sign and the neon age in Los Angeles.